Hello my chess tubes and welcome to another step preparation video. Today I'm going to be going over 2019 step 1 question 7. Um, I think out of all step 1 questions uh, from previous years, this question is particularly dodgy just because the mark scheme requires to you to assume a couple of things that you wouldn't necessarily think of assuming. Um, and therefore, for example, a five minute or three minute question part could become a 15 minute question part if you can't do it rigorously. Um, however, uh, it's also not a question where you have to think a lot. If you assume the right things, then this question is actually pretty straightforward and pretty quick. So um, just before I jump in, I'm going to give you advice on how to deal with stuff that isn't necessarily obvious and that's always think about calculus. Uh, in calculus for example we're taught to sometimes treat uh, dy by dx as dy divided by dx even though it's not and we're told you know that's not right but also you can kind of do that and it's the same thing here except the things you're trying to assume are correct you've just never been told the proof and if the proof isn't required for a level and it doesn't seem like something that you can do in three minutes or less then just don't do it i guess if it seems intuitive especially in number theory if it seems intuitive it's okay um especially in step one so um going over question seven part one um show clearly that steps step one uh, is correct and um, i'm going to the mark scheme doesn't require you to prove that uh, a is always going to be in the form of 3k plus or minus one if a is not in the form of 3k and uh, by the formulation of the question that wasn't obvious to me maybe i'm just really stupid so um, all you have to do is prove that if a equals 3k plus or minus 1, then that's equal to a, then a squared is going to be um, 3k plus or minus 1 squared, which is 9k squared plus or minus plus or minus k plus 1, which is 3 times 3 k squared plus 2k plus 1, which is 3 uh, times something plus 1. So it's 1 more than a multiple of 3. So 1 works. Step 3, um, uh, a to the 4 plus b to the 4 equals n a squared b squared. Uh, let's look at, well, we assumed that uh, root 2 plus root 3 is equal to a over b then a squared over b squared is going to be um, root 2 plus root 3 all squared, sorry, squared, which is equal to 2 squared, so that's uh, root 2 squared plus root 3 squared plus uh, 2 times root 2 times root 3, so uh, 2 root 6 which is equal to 5 plus 3 root 6. So a... Um, yeah, I'll leave that at that. And so a to the 4 over b to the 4 is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 squared, which is 25 plus 4 times 6, 24 uh, plus 20 root 6, which is equal to 49 plus 20 root 6. And so a to the 4 is equal to 49 plus 20 uh, b to the 4. Um, here we don't really have the answer that we wanted and we definitely don't, we, we have a b to the 4 that's basically if you take the b to the 4 to the other side you get something negative and that's really bad because you don't want that. So um, I, you're going to have to do some manipulation of things and the you you want to find a formula that contains a b to the 4 or b b in some form uh, so that you can make the number of b to the 4s here negative. Um, and the only other formula we've had, or the only other two formulas we've had um, that have a b in them are these two. And 
it's ooh, sorry, a squared plus b a squared over b squared. And this has a root six in it, and so does this. So if we try to um, make this in some some sort of multiple of five plus two root six, then we get forty-nine plus twenty root six is equal to fifty plus twenty root six minus one four, which is equal to ten times five plus two root six four minus b to four. And then we have a to the four plus b to the four is equal to ten times five plus two root six, which is a squared over b squared times b to the four, which is ten a squared. But uh, step four now um, is that if a is divisible by three, then b is divisible by three. Well, let's look at uh, a b to the 4 is equal to uh, a uh, 10 a squared b squared minus a to the 4, which is equal to uh, a times 10 a b squared minus a cubed. And here you see that b to the 4 has a factor of a in it and therefore has a factor of 3 in it. So if a is divisible by 3, then b, will, b to the 4 is also divisible by 3. And uh, you can't have b to the 4 that's divisible by 3 and b isn't. Because maths, see, this is the dodgy part, okay? This is one of the dodgy parts. Anyways, uh, continuing on from that, uh, show how 5 follows from what we have in 4 and 4. Well, uh, we can also use a similar argument just by symmetry that if uh, b is divisible by 3, then a will also be divisible by 3, and we can't have that because a and b are positive integers with no common factors. So it must be that um, uh, a and b are both not divisible by 3. So a and b are 3k plus or minus 1, some different k for a and b, or maybe the same. Um, so to uh, then looking at the formula that we had in part 3, um, so <clears throat> Sorry, uh, a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is equal to 10a squared b squared. Well, a to the 4 is equal to uh, 1 mod 3, because a squared is equal to 1 mod 3. We proved that in part 1, and squaring that we have again 1 mod 3. And b to the 4 is equal to 1 mod 3. So the left-hand side is equal to 1 plus 1 equals 2 mod 3. And then the right-hand side is equal to 10, which is 1 mod 3, times 1 mod 3, because that's a squared, and times again 1 mod 3 b squared. And so the uh, right hand side is 1 mod 3. And you can't have uh, something that's 2 mod 3. 1 mod 3. And so uh, the argument that 2 uh, root 2 plus root 3 is rational, so A of B cannot work. Uh, for part 2, for part 2, uh, let's do the same thing again. Well, if a is not divisible by 5, again, because here it says if a is not divisible by 3, we're going to try uh, to do the same thing, have a not divisible by 5, then a is e either equal to uh, 3k plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, or plus 4. Um, and if it's 3k plus 4, then it's also for some other k, 3k minus 1. If it's 3k plus 3, it's, uh, sorry, it's 5k plus 4. All of those are 5s. Ignore everything before. 5k plus 4 is equal to 5k for some other k minus 1, and 5k plus 3 is equal to uh, 5k minus 2 for some other k. So uh, all numbers that aren't divisible by 5 are 5k plus or minus 1, or 5k plus or minus 2. So uh, that's equal to a, and a squared, if it's 5k plus or minus 1, is equal to 25k squared plus then k plus 1, which is uh, one more than a multiple of 5 because uh, these two are multiples of 5. Or oh, a squared is equal to 25k squared plus um, 20, 20k plus 4. And these two are multiples of 5 and then we have a plus 4, so that's one less than a multiple of 5. Um, so a squared is equal to 5k plus or minus 1 for some other k. Um, and then a to the 4, if you square that uh, 5k plus or minus 1 again, then you get uh, 5k plus 1. So that's a to the 4. 
is one more than a multiple of five. Uh, part two, let's suppose that uh, doing exactly the same thing that's written for um, the, the proof for root two plus root three, suppose that a root six plus root seven is seven, gosh, is rational and equal to a over b, over b, where a and b are positive integers with no common factor greater than one. Then uh, we have a squared over b squared is equal to a root six plus root seven squared, uh, which is equal to six plus seven plus uh, two root six root seven, so that's 42, um, which is equal to, gosh, I really need to 13 plus two root so a squared is equal to 13 plus 2. No, this is good. Uh, and so a to the 4 over b to the 4 is equal to 13 plus uh, 2 root 42. Oh gosh, I'll have to actually do thinking about numbers now. I hate that. Damn it. <laughs> uh, squared, uh, which is equal to 13 squared, 169 plus 4 times 42 plus 26 root 42. Uh, so a to the 4 is equal to 169 plus uh, 4 times 42 plus 26 root 42. Uh, and Usually, like normal people, you should actually put them together, but I'm not going to because I'm so lazy and I'm going to try to do something else. Um, uh, B squared or B squared. And we want to do the same things that we did before. So we want to get rid of the root. We, before we got rid of the root 6 uh, by uh, plugging in this formula again. Um, so let's do that again. So we have 26 root 42, so that's like 13 times 2 root 42. So uh, 13 times 13 plus 4 times 42, which is, uh, I calculated this time, uh, 148. And so we have a to the 4 is equal to uh, 26 times 2 root 42 uh, plus 13 times 13 plus 13 times 13 minus 1. So that's 26 uh, times 13 um, minus one because it's 13 times 13 times 2 minus 1, um, all uh, b to 4, which is equal to uh, 26 times uh, 13 plus 2 root 42 minus b to the 4, and so a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is equal to uh, 26 times uh, a squared over b squared b to the 4. Oh, b to the 4 here. Uh, which is equal to 26 a squared b squared. So a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is equal to 26 a squared b squared. Uh, then part 4, so if any a is divisible by, f if any a is divisible by 5, then a b to the 4 is equal to a times uh, 26 a b squared minus a cubed. And so it has a factor of a, and so b to the 4 is going to be divisible by 5. And uh, by the same argument as before, uh, b is also going to be divisible by 5. Um, so if a is divisible by 5, then b is divisible by 5. And uh, by a similar argument, also if b is divisible by 5, then a is going to be divisible by 5. Um, and so neither a nor b can be divisible by 5 in... Um, a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is equal to 26 a squared b squared. And uh, we know that a to the 4 and b to the 4 are each 1 mod uh, 5. And so this uh, the, the sum is going to be 2 mod 5. And then 26 a squared b squared. Well, 26 is 1 mod 5. a squared is plus or minus 1 mod 5. And uh, b squared is also plus or minus 1 mod 5. So 26 a squared b squared is going to be either 1 mod 5 or mi minus 1 mod 5. So this is plus or minus 1 um, mod 5. And those two things are obviously not equal, so that's bad. Uh, and trying again for um, 
why can divisibility by three not be used in this case? Well, at first, my brain was like, hmm, it's probably to do with the root six being something with a three in it. Um, but after trying to figure out what it was in particular that was bad about root six, I couldn't come up with a formal argument, probably because there isn't, there isn't one. Uh, and so I tried uh, doing the same thing with uh, uh, doing the same thing with a three. And so we have, uh, if we do the same thing with a three, we have two mod three, and then uh, twenty six a squared b squared. Well, twenty six is two mod three, and a squared b squared are each one mod three. So we have two mod three is equal to two mod three, and so everything is consistent, and there's no problems with the mod three thing. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope your exams go perfectly well.